Greetings and welcome back to Mavamini Studio. Here in Leitrim's Iron Mountains, my name is Harriet and today I am sharing another short watercolour time lapse in my sketchbook. We are on day two of Mermaid and the prompt list that I am following is by Erica Joy here on YouTube. So do check out Erica's artwork as well and I will link to her prompt list below the video if you would like to join in for the rest of the month of May. So like I said, today is day two and the prompt is Seahorse. So I'm just starting out with my rough sketch. I'm using the Faber-Castell Gold Faber Aqua coloring pencils and this is just a small set of 24 that I got. I'm just using the blues because that's the color scheme that I'm choosing for this little piece. What I love about starting watercolor paintings with watercolor pencils is that the sketch is not permanent. You can literally just wash it away and it does give you a little bit of a loose wash as a starting place for your painting once you wash the line work out. Once that wash was dry, I went in with water-based Papermate fine liners. These are just the Papermate flare fine liners and these are water soluble so if you put water on them they will disperse and they also will blend with your watercolors. I felt there was something nice about using blue outlines. I decided to do a little mermaid sitting on the back of the seahorse like it's her horse. And that's quite difficult because usually when you sit on a horse you have one leg over the other one. So mermaids do that elegant side saddle which women back in the 1800s would side saddle on a horse which it was considered ladylike. It seems very insane when I think about it but she is side saddling on a seahorse. So I'm trying to make the seahorse quite decorative and trying to give it that lovely definition that seahorses do have. There are few fabled creatures in folklore than mermaids and here in Ireland, no exception. According to traditions, mermaids were always very beautiful. However, the mermen were said to have fine torsos but the most ugly features like pig's eyes, webbed fingers, red noses, green teeth and seaweed coloured hair and perhaps that's not surprising that it's said that mermaids preferred seamen or coastal dwellers for their lovers and it is said there are a number of Irish families who claim to be descendants of such unions including the O'Flaherty's and the O'Sullivan families of Kerry and the McNamara's from County Clare. The famous Irish poet W.B. Yeats, who is actually from quite close to where I am in Ireland, he's from County Sligo and I'm the next county over in Leitrim, but in his Irish fairy and folk tales, he notes that near Bantry in the last century, there is said to be a woman who is covered all over in scales like a fish. She was descendant from such a marriage with a human and sometimes the mermaids come out of the sea and they wander the shore disguised and shapeshifted as little cows and they wear a little hat and if you steal their little red hat off them it means that they can't go back into the water and these are known as the fairy cattle. Perhaps the most famous story of a mermaid in Ireland is set in Belfast Lock and the date of it would be 588 AD, so it's pretty old. Apparently, the mermaid, she had been seen in the area for a number of years and had often been heard singing beneath the waves. She proved an irresistible attraction to a group of men who rowed out to find her and they caught her in a net. Much to their surprise, they learned that she had originally been a little human girl called Liban, whose family had died in a flood, but she had survived beneath the waves and gradually she had been transformed into a mermaid. 
the men christened the girl Murrigan and put her on display in a tank for all to see. A number of miracles were later attributed to her, and after her death, she was renamed Saint Murgan. We are coming to the end of my time lapse now, so if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I do hope to keep up with the prompts for the rest of the month, and I will be posting my daily mermaid pictures as soon as I have finished them on Instagram. So if you want to check how I'm doing, you can check out my Instagram. I'm not promising a daily video, but I'm going to try and do as many mermaid paintings as I can for the month of May. If you're taking part in mermaid, do let me know where I can see all your mermaid artwork. And I hope to see you all again soon for another video. Bye bye.